Hey guys, I'm here talking about the Daily Grind program. Now the Daily Grind program is one of my more popular programs that's done daily, meaning you're training each muscle group every single day. It also is the workout that's for my New Year's challenge. Now I get a lot of questions about my programs due to the way I design them. It's not just haphazardly throwing exercises together. It's actually science involved. And so the question I'm answering today is why in the daily grind do I have you supersetting the bench press with bent over barbell row? Now in my Superman program, I also have you doing the bench press in the row. So you'll see throughout my programs, it's a common superset that I do because it's a push and a pull. And as I'm demonstrating here, you can see that movement, those two movements, are opposing movements. Now, even Arnold Schwarzenegger was smart enough to know back in the day that pairing pushing and pulling exercise was a great way to not only get stronger, but actually build more muscle. So, what is the science? Well, there tends to be whether or not it's a neurological advantage, but when you do a pushing motion and follow it with a pulling motion, the pulling motion will tend to be stronger. You'll be able to supply more force, more strength. And if you do it the other way around, do the pulling motion followed by the pushing motion, you should be stronger. There's a lot of debate over why, look, with science, we only know snapshots. We really don't know the answers to everything, but some of the theories is that that opposing muscle is more fatigued, and because that opposing muscle does an opposing movement, when you're doing a pushing movement, for example, with fatigued lats, you can press more weight, have more explosive power. That's one of those theories. It also may be due to a neurological advantage, as I mentioned. But what we do know is that it's definitely beneficial for numerous reasons. In the real world, it produces more muscle strength. And supersetting opposing muscle groups has also been shown to increase muscle size and fat loss. And the reason it works for fat loss is the research has shown that supersetting muscle groups like that actually increases the number of calories you burn during and after workout by about 30%. More calorie burn, more fat burn. So let me demonstrate how to do the movement. And the tip here is you can do it right here on the bench. That's all, one station right here. You don't have to have two bars. So, which is why another reason it's Convenience. This way you don't lose your spot in a busy gym. People say, I can't do supersets. It's two, I can't take up two spots. I train Monday nights at five. There's about 500 people in my gym. If I even blink, I'm gonna lose a bench. No, right here, you've got both exercises done in the same spot because that's important. If you can't get the workout done, what's the point of doing the workout? So you're gonna do the bench press Taking it to failure here, and remember, watch my video on how to determine your perfect grip on the bench press. Also, watch my video on elbow position as well. But you take it to failure. So now I've done my pushing movement. Now I'm going to just flip right around. And a good barometer for pushing and pulling strength, as research shows, is your bench press and your row strength. So guys, you shouldn't really need to change the weight that much. And if you do, then you know which exercise you need to increase your strength on so that you have better balanced pushing and pulling strength. That's not just important for injury prevention, but it's also important for overall strength and obviously muscle development. So then you immediately take the bar right off the rack, drop it down onto the bench, and now you can do your rows right here on the bench press. And then if you have low back problems like me, remember I had a motorcycle accident, so I have a compression fracture. I don't want that stress on my lower back in the bottom position. I want to get a full range of motion, but there's no reason for me to place extra stress on my back given my biomechanics. A little tip here is I use the bench to release the stress on my back, still get a full range of motion, still get to target those lats, by reducing the stress on my back, I can go heavier. So you're gonna start with it on the bench, do your row, allow it to come right back down. 
full range of motion, but like I said, helps to reduce the stress on the back. Then when you're done, you should have the strength to be able to rack it and then you repeat. So those are just a few of the reasons why I have you guys supersetting. Strength gains, burn more body fat, build more muscle and convenience all in one station. You can see it in the daily grind, or you can see it in my Superman program. And if you're not following one of those, you can certainly throw it into any one of your own programs. Let me know how you're liking it, guys. If you have any more questions, you know where to hit me. Check out all my social media channels. And as always, stay gym, army, strong.